as director of Shem, I'm very proud that uh, I'm happy that you came to Lisbon for this conference, that uh, our center is the hosting this conference, but more than to be hosting this conference, that shall be partner. Myself and uh, Ana Paula Avlar and uh, João Telles e Cunha, uh, are, we three organized uh, this, started organizing this conference. Uh, on, we chose the team, Travels and Travelers on Safari Iran, we chose the date, and then we started inviting people. We, we, we invited a, a large group of people, and I want to thank everybody who is already here. The beginning of the Safavid dynasty coincided with a renewed European interest on Iran, and thanks to an increasing number of printed narratives describing the voyages of Western travelers, both the country and its rulers became household names in Europe for the following two and a half centuries. Starting with the Portuguese and continuing with Italians, Dutch, English, French, and including Poles and Russians, a plethora of people traveled over Safavid Iran. The magic image in these travel writings was never one-sided. It was complex, though some stereotypes appeared to appeal for the taste of the exotic among its European readers. Our uh, organization, the Council of uh, Iberic Safavid Studies, started in uh, 2013 in Madrid, and after this uh, event, after this, this congress, we had uh, the, the support, the very important support of the Memorial, uh, Sudovar Memorial Foundation. The Sudovar Foundation is a very small foundation. It's a young foundation, it goes back uh, less than 20 years. I had always seen the um, Hispanic world as geared to Arabs and almost oblivious of the point that even those Arabs had a contingent of Persians with them. And so it was time for the Hispanic world to really get acquainted because as we can see from all these talks, there is a lot of common ground in history, but it has somehow been um, left aside. And so when the opportunity came to uh, help with the conference in Madrid, and in Alicante and now in Lisbon, we are very happy to allow this forgotten history to, to be revived. And uh, I think that uh, fits in with our strategy of keeping uh, Iranian studies alive in Europe. The international conference Travelers and Travelogues on Safavid Iran discussed several topics as travel writing genre, either travelogues or any other writing forms where the travel impressions of the people traveling through Iran is recorded directly or indirectly, the travelers and their travelogues, the itineraries and writings in the context of its time, the travelers, who were they and why did they travel to Iran, and the cultural transfers and debates around travel writings. I'm Susan Babayi. I teach at the Courtauld Institute of Art in, at the University of London. Uh, and I'm a historian of art and architecture, especially of Iran, and in particular the Safavid period, which is 16th and 17th centuries. Um, I'm here in Lisbon and at the Gulbenkian Museum uh, for a conference we just concluded, a two-day uh, symposium, if you will, about the uh, Saf travelers, European travelers, to the Safavid Empire, the group of scholars from uh, the Iberian Peninsula, as well as people from the US, from the UK, and elsewhere in Europe, gathered together for the third um, gathering or symposium of this group uh, here in Portugal, in Lisbon. And we had two full days of uh, papers, debates, discussions, and really a very productive um, new learning shared by all of us, uh, which we hope uh, will eventually become part of a, uh, a public access uh, resource. And today, the last day of this conference, if you will, we are at the Golbenkian Museum visiting a special exhibition on flowers from European sources, botanicals, and their uh, sort of home, if you will, at the Mughal courts in the 16th and 17th centuries. And then we are going to have a close viewing of the collection of the Golbankians, um, 
uh, works of art from the Islamic world, largely from Safavid Persia and Ottoman uh, Turkey, but also ma material from the Mamluks and so forth, uh, for really uh, looking at the way in which art, art objects, architecture and so forth, might help us also get to uh, histories of the period in this context of a collective exercise of learning we have had. This was under the, the tutelage of uh, Cham and uh, an incredibly productive uh, gathering, which we hope will continue to take place on a biannual basis as it has in the past.